Hey yo, what is up, Thrill Seekers? Today I am here at Fiesta Texas. I'm here with Jasmine. What's up? She's ex employee of Fiesta Texas. She's trying to get back though, so hopefully we'll see her again. Um, but, anyways, I am here kind of in the morning. I have a closing shift today. It's like my only time off. Um, but I'm still here at the park. Uh, I really wanted to go and check out the new Sky Screamer thing um, that they are going, that they are having right now. Um, and also just look at the holiday in the park crowds because it is definitely a very different crowd level versus Fright Fest, which was insane. Um, yeah, holiday in the park, like, like a lot of, it's, it's really chill. Because like a lot of people just bring their kids and their families and stuff. So they don't necessarily um, go and ride those big rides, which means that all of the queue lines are really, really short. Yeah, it's, it's really chill, but the kitties are packed. <laughs> so that kind of sucks. Um, but yeah, I, I was gonna say, area three is like fuck. Anyways, main goals for today is to go check out the Go Big experience over on Skyscreamer, where we can fly 200 feet in the air strapped in one of the uh, sky coaster harnesses facing straight down. It's crazy. Um, and also to just check out all of the lines um, and the crowd levels here at Holiday in the Park. And we are here at Holiday in the Park. Uh, there's so many awesome lights and decorations and all of that stuff. Oh yeah, at night it looks absolutely beautiful. I'm sorry, I go into work at 5 so I can't show you guys at night. But um, just a little tip that I have shared in the past but I want to share again in case there's anyone new watching. Definitely get here a little bit early. Um, they let you into the park about 30 minutes before the park opens. It's uh... It's like what 11 35 ish yeah 11 36 right now um and the park opens at 12 right so you can come in walk around if you need to get a flash pass if you want to buy some merch now is the time to do it um and then once they actually do open up the park you're gonna be first one in there to ride a whole bunch of rides so it's it's definitely definitely beneficial to get here a little bit early and they dropped the ropes. We are off going over to Sky Screamer for the first ride of the day, kind of just jumping right into it. Um, Sky Screamer. Oh man, my stomach is not feeling good. So hopefully I can, uh, hopefully I can handle it and not throw up all over everyone. And here we are over at Sky Screamer. <laughs> hey! What? I gotta ride the fucking thing. Working? Working. I'm, I am working. working. I'm scheduled for five. Let's do it. Dude, I'm actually so excited. Oh, I'm, <laughs> I'm like really nervous, but I'm really excited. Alrighty guys, so if you don't know what the Go Big experience is, it uh, it is actually for the Go Big show, which they filmed yesterday as of when I'm filming this. Um, and just for the next couple weeks until January 6th, I think, they have replaced two sets of these seats here on Skyscraper with harnesses. So you strap in to these harnesses. <laughs> you strap into these harnesses. They connect you to there, and you're going to be on your stomach flying 200 feet up in the air. Pretty crazy. But I'm excited. Hey yo, we getting it. I'm terrified right now. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah. <laughs> hey, if it's my time to go, it's my time to go. Yes, better go out with the crashing office. You better put me in the one that Alex already rode today. I think it was actually this one. Okay, bet. Oh, did we inspect that one? That should be fun. Uh, what have I gotten myself into, dude? Hey, what have I done? Hey, hey. On this ride, it's fun. Yo, yes. love it. Oh my god. Oh my god. This actually enjoys the game of Oh no. 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 No.
A few moments later. Honestly, can't see anything I'm recording. No, 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 he's gonna take that. You can. And there you go. That was the Go Big experience over on Skyscreamer. Um, by the way, I look really stupid right now. I have my work uniform and then just a t-shirt over. It. Um, but that was awesome. Highly, highly recommend. I'm terrified of heights. Um, honestly, that ride scares me to begin with. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but going up there, like the second time, it was so much, so it was actually really calming. Um, once like once you kind of get over like the height of it and you just look out in the park see the views It's awesome. If you go alone You can stick one arm out to one side or the other and kind of spin a little bit if you want you can Add that level of craziness on that second go around at one point if you like swing out so that you're facing the park um, the harness kind of goes like this so you like you're basically like straight up in the air Or like basically standing up and you're just standing 200 feet in the air looking at the entire park and it's it's crazy Definitely something that you guys should get out and try it's only going to be here for the next couple weeks um, After that they're going to make a decision either one to remove it or two to make it a paid attraction So if you don't like spending money go ride it right now um, because that's a that's an awesome ride definitely if you're looking for the craziest thing to do that right there 100 percent second ride but first normal ride of the day is going to be iron rally i'm probably not going to be here for long because uh they seems like they may need me to come into work early um and also i have a meeting with jeffrey siebert to talk uh, to him about the amusement park industry me getting into it all of that but uh definitely had to hit up iron rally before i go of course so let's let's do it also if you're looking for the best time of year to come this right here is it hands down it's a nice temperature um it's not too cold it's like 60s um so you know wear a couple layers if you really need um you know a hoodie something like that is is good enough of course back yeah um but um but overall like it's a really good time to come because there is no one here look at this like no one is here. Hey, Wranglers, hope y'all enjoyed the ride on the Iron Rack. Now get in that restraint a little push up, unbuckle your seatbelt, head on out to your left. Don't forget any loose gear or whatnot. Have a great day at Six Flags. You may notice that they took down the dividers that were uh, in between the here for COVID. Um, they took those down this past week. It helps us ride operators out a lot. We can actually see our station, see our attendance, all of that kind of stuff. Um, so that really helps us, and there's not really a need for them anymore. Anyways, let's ride iron. Honestly, I think I've been saying this a lot more recently, um, but like, I, I haven't been riding roller coasters as much because I've been working a lot more, which is why YouTube content has kind of been slow. So honestly, I'm gonna be honest, it's gonna kind of be like that for a while. Um, but I definitely have just kind of like fallen out of being used to riding roller coasters. So that, that ride was amazing because I, I'm not as used to like the stomach feeling, the drop, right? All of that kind of stuff. That kind of just, I kind of just got numb to it, but now hits hits hard every time. It's awesome. I'm like holding stuff. We're here with Edwin. Hey, this is his first time at the park as a guest. He works here, but he's never been here as a guest. I'm excited. He's about to get on. Yeah, first time. I'm excited. Let's do it. How was it? It was good? Hey. Uh, I think we're gonna do Superman now. So, let's go. It's his first time at the park. I was a guest, so 
gotta hit all the major ones because we yeah. have to go okay, into he work. Hey, he wants to do the skyscraper. Oh, he does? Yeah, he did. Yeah. Okay, sweet. Then we'll do that and then Superman and then I think we're gonna have to go into work because they want us there around two. But, oh well. That was super, super fun. Um, I actually just split off from the two of them. They're gonna go ride Superman. I just gotta go into work now because at this point, like, they, they need me. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go into work right now. Um, but it was a super fun, short day here at Fiesta, Texas. Got to do the Go Big experience here at Sky Zoomer. Definitely something I recommend checking out for sure. Um, also, if you're looking for a good time to come, come right now. Um, there's not really many people here at the park, so it's it's a really good time to go um, for really short lines, not many crowds. Um, especially, let's say you had a bad experience at like Fright Fest because it was super crowded. Come right now. Trust me, it's going to be a lot better. You're going to actually be able to ride stuff and have a good time at the park um, instead of just being stuck in lines all day. Um, so. Definitely learned two things. One, that boy was awesome. And two, uh, definitely come during winter, uh, holiday in the park. I almost said winter fest, holiday in the park um, over Fright Fest. But anyways, with that, I will see you guys all in the next one. Peace out.